Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to show you a little ginástica natural class that you can practice anywhere that you have a little bit of a space. So in the, this class I'm going to break it down in two parts. Part one, I'm going to show you the exercise one by one so you can learn how to move in the proper form of them. In part two, we're going to create a little flow so we can make this a nice workout. I hope you enjoy it. Our first exercise is going to be our warm up. The way that I like to warm up is with a sand salutation. That's just one of the many options you have. So for the sand salutation, we want our legs parallel, a little bit narrow than our shoulders width apart. And we're going to start with our hands in front of our chest. So first you're going to inhale and you're going to go up and bend backwards. Exhale going back down and putting your hands on the floor. You're going to inhale, putting your right leg backwards and looking up. You're going to exhale, putting your left leg back to downward dog position. You're going to inhale, going to pos uh, plank position. You're going to exhale, going down. And you're going to inhale, going back up and arching back. Now you're going to exhale, going back to downward dog. And then you're going to inhale, bring your left leg forward. You're going to exhale, bring your right leg forward. And you're going to inhale again as you go all the way up, arch back, and bring your hands in front of your chest again. The switch base, we need to start on the gymnastica natural base, which is sitting on the floor with the leg, one leg folded back and one leg folded in front of you. You want to be aware of your mobility and any discomfort or pain that you might have. If you're feeling any sharp pain, you might not want to do this position at all. And if you need a little adjustment, you might need to adjust your knees and separate your legs and feel comfortable and in a good position. So we're going to start with the right leg in front of us and the left leg bent backwards. So the switching base with the help of the hands, I'm going to put my right hand, so I'm starting to the right side, my right hand goes down to the floor, giving a space for my left foot come forward, meeting up with my right foot and then going back and folding to the other side. Every time I finish this movement, I want to be back in my base and I want to be sitting upright without my hands on the floor. Now that I have my left leg in front, I'm going to put my left hand on the floor, kick my right leg forward, meet my left in the front, going back to the other side and sit up into my base. In a flow motion, it's going to be like this. Our second exercise, we're going to still be sitting up on our base or our sitting up base. And we're going to do is we're going to do the kick with the hands. So I'm going to kick from my back leg. Okay, so I'm going to kick my back leg and I'm going to catch my foot. And as I do that, I want to extend my arm and open up my chest. And then I'm going to switch to the other side. And then I'm going to move my leg back. So again, I'm going to start kicking from the leg that is on the back on this time, my right. I'm going to kick it, catch it and open my chest and open my hand to the side. I'm going to switch sides again, open my chest, open my hand and then move it back. Okay. And the flow, the flow motion is going to be like this. Now our third movement, what we're going to do is we're going to switch sides by going belly down. This exercise is going to bring you a lot of hip mobility, very important for controlling the position for who plays Jiu Jitsu, controlling the position on top or escaping from the bottom and trying to go on top. Okay. So basically what are we doing is starting from our base, we're going to put our hands on the floor and then we're going to pivot on our hips. 
bringing and turning to the side, bringing the legs all the way back, going belly down, and then pushing up, turning the hips, pushing up and going back to the other side. So again, I bring my hands down to the floor, I turn sideways, pivoting on my hips, go belly down, and then I turn to the other side, bringing the opposite leg in front. So in a flow motion, it's always important to incorporate your breathing. So you want to breathe as you move. So flowing, it's going to be like this. Always when you finish, you want to be sitting upright without your hands on the floor. For our fourth exercise, we're going to do some exercise for the, our abs. We're just going to do a simple plank. So from this position, we were moving from side to side. And then now all that I'm going to do is move my legs back, go to belly down. I'm going to position my shoulders and uh, my elbows underneath my shoulders, hands on the floor, toes on the ground, and I'm just going to go up, trying to brace my abs, keep my back aligned and looking straight down. Don't let your neck go down. Just keep looking down to your hands. And here I want to brace, hold my abs, squeeze my glutes and hold it for a little bit. Sideways going to look like this. You want your back aligned. You don't want your hips so high. You want to start, try to stay flat in a good position and hold it, keeping your whole spine aligned. So our next exercise is going to be the frog. So we were on the plank position. We were bracing right here. So now all that we can do is let it relax, go down to the floor, slide your hands under your shoulders, put your toes on the ground, go back to your knees, keeping your hands on the floor, and you're just gonna jump forward into a base position. So don't squat too low, try to keep your hips engaged, and then you're gonna start in the frog position. Now with the frog, we're going to do this. We're going to put our hands on the floor and then we're going to move back three times and then we're going to move forward. Always going back to our base. Okay, so we're going to finish right here in our base for the frog position. And from the frog, we're going to put our hands down and there's two ways you can do that. You can do one leg at a time to go to a push-up position, or from the frog, you put your hands on the floor and kick both legs back, and you are in the push-up position. From the push-up position, we're gonna do the cross push-up. So what are we gonna do is we're gonna cross our hands, and as we do that, we open our legs. So I'm gonna cross my hands, open my legs, and then now I'm gonna close my legs and open my hands. And I'm going to do a push up, go back up, cross my hands, open my legs and cross it, close my legs, push up. And then now to the other side, cross my hands, uncross it, push up, go up, open your legs, cross your hands, uncross it, close your legs, push up. Okay, so once you, once you finish up your push ups, and you are right here in the push-up position, all you're gonna do is go back down to the floor, put your toes on the ground, push back into your knees, and you're gonna jump up into the frog. Now, once we are here in the frog, what are we gonna do is we're gonna do kicks from side to side, okay? So once we jump up into the frog position, now we're gonna do kicks. What is important is that I want the sole of my foot to touch my hand. I'm going to stick my hand out and I wanted the foot to go in a lateral movement, but I'm going to combine that with the frog. So I'm here into my base, frog position, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a small squat, small flexing, flex, kick, go back down, up, from side to side.
And you don't have to go all the way down or a deep squat. It's just a little flexing so you have the motion and you wanted this loud clapping sound of the sole of your foot into your hand. Once you finish the kicks from the frog position, we're going to be back into the frog position. And all we're going to do is we're going to put our hands on the floor. Again, you can do one leg at a time or you can do a push back with both legs. And then here you are in the push up position. You might want to adjust your base. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put one arm out. And we're going to hold and brace for a little bit. You're going to put it back down. You're going to go down. You're going to go up and put your arm out to the other side. And here you want to engage your core, make sure that your hips are not twisting and keep your arm out to the side. Put it back down, push up, going back to your knees, jumping up, and we are done. Our final exercise will be a base and balance exercise. So all I wanted to do is make sure that I adjust my feet on the mat, a little bit narrower than my shoulders width apart. I'm gonna start, and we're gonna do that for both sides. I'm gonna start with my right side, okay? So first thing is, I can put my hands out to the sides for that to help me. I can keep my hands up. Whatever is most comfortable and will help you the most, you can choose. So for me, I'm gonna start with my hands here in front of my shoulders. I'm gonna bring my right leg up and then as I breathe out, I'm going to kick my leg back and bring my arms to the side of my body. And I'm going to try to stay here and balance out. I can bend a little bit my bottom leg so it helps me to keep my balance. Now it's important on the way back that you keep control of the position, bring your leg back up, stay stabilized, and then put your foot with control back down the floor. And then we're gonna go to the other side. Bringing my left leg up and then kicking my leg back. As I do that, I bring my hands to the side of my body, bending the bottom leg a little bit for stability and staying here, holding for a couple of seconds. And then going back up, bringing the knee up and with control, putting in my leg back down on the floor. Now we're gonna to jump to our flow session, okay? So now we're gonna connect each exercise without any pause. We're gonna do that in a fluid style and it's very important that you pay attention to your breathing, okay? For the purpose of this video, I'm only gonna repeat each exercise twice and it's going to be only one set. So you can do as many sets as you want or as you can handle, and you can do as many repetitions as you would like. But I recommend you doing it in small portions until you can memorize the movements and the transitions from one movement to the other. Hands in front of your chest, and here we go. Breathing in. Breathing out, hands on the floor. Right leg back, chest up, look up, breathe out, left leg back, downward dog position, breathe in to push up, breathe out, chest down, breathe in, arching up, breathing out, going to downward dog position, bringing the right leg forward, bring it, breathing in, breathing out, left leg, Hands up, breathe in, and hands to the chest. Now, second repetition, only breathing.
Now only halfway through. From here, you're gonna move into the base and we're gonna connect the switching base. Now right leg in front, right leg in the side, right hand on the side of me, going from side to side. Now from here, switching base with the catch of the leg. Now moving hips side to side. Now going belly down. Going to the plank position. Holding for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Going back down. Hands on your shoulders. Toes on the ground. Go to your knees. Jump up into the frog. In the frog, gonna go forward three times. Gonna go back. From the frog, hands on the floor. Jumping back. Push up position. Now we're gonna do the cross push up. So I'm gonna cross my hands, open my legs, uncross it, push up, up. Back into the center, push down, up. Cross it, push down, up. Cross it, push down, stay. Toes on the ground, push back, jumpy. Frog position, from here, kicks. Six kicks, four, five, six. Hands on the floor, legs back. Stay, adjust your base. Hold, brace, right arm out. Hold it for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hand down, go to the floor. Breathe, go up. Left side, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hand down, chest down, push back, jump to the frog, go up, and then we're going to do our balance, so adjust your base, breathe, Hands up, right knee up, right leg back, hands on the side, bend the leg, hold for five, four, three, two, one, control, bring the right leg, put it down on the floor, <sighs> breathe, hands up, left knee, Left leg back, hands on the side, brace, bend the knee, five, four, three, two, one, go back up with control, leg down, now it's your turn. <sighs> 